Alright, g'day YouTube, Trundle here. Today, we are playing Mario Kart E. Island Adventure or something like that. I don't remember the name, but it's the one on the 3DS from like 2014 or something. For this video, the recording that you are seeing is not what I'm actually going to be playing. I'm playing on a different DS, so um, that you won't have to see it all being moved around and everything, and it'll just generally be easier. So none of what actually happens on this 3DS will actually matter. What happens on this 3DS is the important part. So. This character of Mario in this game, he, he doesn't matter. Alright. Probably best that Mario went last anyway. Alright. Also probably would have been smarter if I had gone and played the actual DS that was actually running the game, so I didn't have to do all the clicking and whatever on this one. Mm. Alright, let's get started. So Yoshi gets to go first, and the reason that I'm playing Mario Party by myself is because, well, isn't it quite obvious, um, I have no friends to play it with. Alright, Yoshi, rolls a three. Oh, that's a green space. No, it's a blue space. Oh, that's very fair. The problem with this map is, yes, that it's fast, but it also, um, the whole boosters, if you get, like, four or something, you can just go and, um, what am I trying to say? If you get, like, four boosters, you can just roll a 25 and get the whole, like, map over and done with in one turn, which is really unfair, but still at the same time, doesn't really change all that much that's going on in it. Probably going to be really annoying watching this and seeing the whole screen readjust to everything that's going on. Yeah, that's great Mario, just do whatever you want. We've got a four. Alright, Mario's somehow coming second, even though he doesn't matter in this game. Oh wow, an event space. Who would have thought? I guess it was a smart idea, but it annoys me at the same time that um, the Mario Kart games on the DS and 3DS aren't the same as the main series games with the whole star collecting and everything and it being like you have to put serious thought and everything into the game. No, I don't want to roll my dice. I'm going to see how far I can get. Let's hope I get a 10. I get a 6. That's alright, I guess. I think. Yeah, at least I passed those circles, because otherwise I would have been sent back. Alright, Luigi's also going in with the booster, and he rolls a 10, good on Luigi. This map is completely up to luck, because nothing really matters except for the roll that you get. And Mario's doing really well right now.
I really want to get a capture card for the 3DS one day when I have the money to because then you won't have to watch this also multiplayer games like this are probably the only games I can record at this moment um, because just recording off 1DS would be a nightmare and I'm also glad that the bottom screen isn't really that major in this game to be something that you have to view so yeah doing a game like this actually may be a good way to record a versus for yeah. Yeah, I don't care that I don't have any boosters. Um, yeah, if I recorded a versus, like this, that'd be pretty cool, because Spencer has his own DS. Then we could just use one for a screen. Like this one for a screen or something. I don't know, it'd probably be the one that I'm playing on right now. To be used as a screen. Because... It would just be a lot easier. I also have to find something else to stand up my camera on. Well, I mean, I'm recording using my phone right now because the camera that I was recording with, well, I tried to record with before, wasn't doing the best job of it. Alright, Mario, you do your thing. Get to one. Good on you. Maybe one day I can get the opportunity to record all of the maps in this. I haven't played this mini game before, so it'd be interesting to see what it actually is. Okay, just coloring in. Is that literally all it is? This shouldn't be too difficult, I guess. You don't even have to do any accuracy. Start. It's literally all you're doing is just scribbling in one thing. That wasn't that hard at all. It was colouring over the lines and um, everything, they were just terribly drawn, well, I don't want to say terribly drawn, it was all pretty good, pretty well drawn, um, sketches down the bottom, but that's beside the point, um, it's literally just who can scribble the fastest on the screen to cover as much as possible. I have four boosts now, alright. Alright. Yoshi has five though. Yoshi could technically just win this. If Yoshi gets a good enough roll, like, even the 20 I think would just do it. Oh! What did I say? What did I say? Yeah. Good on Yoshi, this is the most pathetic map because it's entirely left up to skill. But that's alright because this video was 10 minutes, so I mean, yeah, good on the game guessing that the map would be 10 to 20 minutes because it was. It really was. Alright, that was. The scoring I came second in a game that was entirely left up to luck. Yeah, okay. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Um, liking this video would let me know that you want to see more Mario Party videos in the future. I will probably be getting the Mario Party 2 game, I think. The one that you can find on the Nintendo eShop on the Wii U, and then I can record a series from that. But yeah.
Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.